Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you a, a new feature in Revit 2018. Um, if we start a new railing and if you draw a railing over a top of surface, you'll be able to select the railing and host it to the surface. This is a great advantage, it wasn't possible before the version 2018. So this makes it possible to create curves with railing profiles. So we create a new family and we open a metric profile. We can just draw the profile however we want it. So save it as, give it a name and we can load it into our project. So when we start a new railing, if we go to properties and we duplicate create a new railing type, we call it curve. So we will have to get rid of all the pilasters. So make none in all of these. And in the rail structure we will only need one. So we delete every other one. And make the height at zero. Select profile family from the drop down list. And okay. I'll use thick lines because I've drawn a detail line where the road is supposed to be. We pick the post to be the site. So if we create another one by selecting the existing one and create similar, I'm sorry I always use the shortcut. So then just pick the host and we select the site and the same thing will happen. We have the curve hosted to the site. So we can just give it uh, offset whatever necessary. So the next step will be just splitting the surface. So just use pick lines, uh, again the existing lines, extend it to a trim to the old surface, and uh, do the same thing again with the other side of the road. Right now we have a Put the surface for the road, we just need to move it down the curve height and select a different material. So we select it, go to the material and pick asphalt. So simple enough, uh, quick and easy, but only available in the version 2018. Anyway, hope the tip helps and see you next time.